dawn of time, only the fittest have survived. <clears throat> I said dawn of time. Really? It's a chalkboard. You don't have an eraser? Better. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Since the dawn of time, the fittest have survived. The survival of all animals on Earth is dependent on a linear sequence of organisms that exist on successive trophic levels within a natural community through which energy is transferred by feeding. In other words, they eat each other for dinner. Commonly known as the food chain. This predator-prey relationship can be observed on land. In the air. And in the sea. And that's how it's been for hundreds of millions of years. Until now. Until the most unlikely of animals broke the chain in a most unusual way. This is his story. Not her, him. Oh, hot boiled. No. Scrambled. No. Poached with a pinch of sea salt. These are the skewer bird, a seabird of the family Stercororiidae. They are noisy, dirty, and just plain nasty little scavengers. That egg is a real whopper. We're eating it raw, understand? Quick and easy. Raw? Why don't we just eat our own boogers? Uh, we do. Well, we shouldn't. Listen, Julia Childish. We don't have time to stand here and argue about the culinary arts. If we don't snatch that egg quick like, we're going to be eating snow cones for dinner. Fine. Not a boy. Now you know the drill. You distract the penguin, I snatch the egg. Why do you always get to snatch the egg? Oh, for the love of all things frozen. You don't think I'm capable of snatching the egg, do you? No, I don't. In fact, I think you'd have a better chance of laying an egg than stealing one. Oh, that hurts. A uh, deep down hurt. A sea lion ripping out my heart kinda hurt. You really want to snatch the egg? Yeah, yeah, yes I do. Well, forget it. It ain't gonna happen. Now let's go. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hard boiled. Don't start with scrambled. If I have to come back over... Poached. Fine, poached. With a pinch? Yes, yes, with a pinch of salt! Yoo-hoo, wakey, wakey! I've come for my breakfast! <gasps> Order up! Shoo, bird, shoo! Go away, go! The skewer birds often work in teams of two when scavenging for food. This is what is commonly known as the bait and snatch. One bird, the bait, distracts the nesting penguin, the mark, while the other bird, the accomplice, snatches the egg unnoticed. Let's see the bait and snatch in action. Oh my. Now, where's that button? Erase, erase. Uh, oh, there it is, right in front of me. I got the egg! The perfect poached egg will have a nice, undisturbed yolk surrounded evenly by a shiny, oh, opaque oval of egg white. Once you have your water simmering, crack the egg into a small bowl. Po 
poached eggs. <laughs> no, it's Santa Claus. Who are you expecting? <laughs> You're acting strange. I always act strange. Point taken. I'm sorry I ever let you drag that trunk home. Should have left it floating there for the sea lions to choke on. So, where's the egg? Nowhere. It has to be somewhere. Sometimes. What? My thoughts exactly. There you go, acting strange again. Strange even for you. Super strange. <laughs> What's in your hand? The other hand? So help me if you ate that egg without me. No, 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 I didn't eat it. Buddy? Cross my feathers, hope to die, stick an icicle in my eye. Then where's the egg? Somewhere. Quit playing games, buddy. I am starving. You remember that time we were stuck in that blizzard? I was so hungry that I ate my own toe. Well, I am toe-eating hungry, and your plump little digits are looking mighty tasty. Now, where's the egg? You can't eat it. Why not? Look! So? It's a chick, Lou. We don't eat chicks, remember? We're vegetarians. That was a phase. I'm over it. <laughs> you can't. Watch me. There, with a pinch of salt, just like you said, buddy. I can't watch. Beat your record like that, Ozzy? Well, Ozzy, are you? Yes. I, I, I mean, no. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not up to it today. Already still pretty broken up, huh? Hey, maybe you should go talk to her. I don't know what else to say. Give her this, Ozzy. That'll make her feel better. Go on. I brought you something. Thanks, Ozzy. But I don't feel much like eating. Right. It happens to every couple, Gertie. There'll be other eggs. Do you think maybe there's some way, somehow it survived? Since I named him Pingo. Pingo? Yeah, yeah, like Bingo, but with a puh. That's awful. Oh, you got a better name? Yes, 
breakfast. You, you wouldn't eat Pingo. Well, not now that you gave it a name. It's like eating the family pet. <laughs> so, so we can keep him? Keep him? No, absolutely not. Once Bingo with a pup wakes up, he is out of here. But he can't survive out there on his own. Does this look like the face of someone who can? Oh, you're a cold, cold bird. What do you know about raising a penguin anyway? The only thing we have in common with penguins are the sea lions that want to devour all of us for dinner. Better they make an appetizer out of him than a three-course meal out of us. Birds of a feather die together. Mom always said there's safety in numbers. Yeah, well, the last thing we need around here is another number to feed. But, but, but Pingo can catch fish for us. Will he like king penguins? Just drop it, would you? It'll be a hot day in Antarctica before we keep the penguin, period, the end. Roll credits. <sighs> Good morning, Daddy. I'm not your daddy. I'm your Uncle Lou. And with those words, Bingo with a Puh had Lou wrapped around his little penguin flipper. <laughs> Say sardines! Don't you dare take a picture! Why'd you go and do that? If anybody sees us consorting with the enemy, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire bird community. We already are. Yeah, well, now they'll be laughing even harder. <laughs> in tutus, jumping, uh, uh, jumping over a pirate ship, yeah. I don't see it. Me either. No, 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 not there. Over there. Wow, what else do you see? Did you hear that? Yeah, you just said, did you hear that? Not that, that, sea lion! I don't see a sea lion. Looks kind of like a whale to me. No, Bingo! There's a sea lion! I still don't see it. Not up here, down there! Whoa! Now I see it! Run! <laughs> Satisfy my ravenous appetite. I'm sorry, Master. I have failed you. Gee, you think Einstein? Yeah, honestly, I do. I was being sarcastic. Of course, you failed me. You had a smorgasbord of sea life in front of you, and you didn't catch one thing. Not one. Uh, I don't know that I'd call it a smorgasbord. I mean, I only had two choices, really birds or penguin. And scientifically, penguins are classified as birds. So I actually only had one choice, bird. Well, three birds, so bird, bird, or bird. But still, not the variety of sea life the word smorgasbord would imply. 
I'm starving here, Thrasher, withering away as I listen to you yammer on incessantly about what constitutes a smorgasbord. I'm about to eat my shell. Oh, I'd advise strongly against it. You'll break a tooth. Then what? The subtlety of irony is completely lost on you. Eh, ironic, isn't it? Not ironic. Moronic. And for the record, hermit crabs don't have teeth. Oh, no kidding. Crab's honor. Come closer, I'll show you. <laughs> Mommy! See? I don't need teeth when I have these. <sighs> Those little jaws of life of yours pack a powerful pinch. You have no idea. There are places I could pinch that would curl your whiskers. <laughs> the next time you return empty-handed... I... Hold on. The next time you return empty-handed, you won't be so lucky. Uh... Excuse me? Hello? Master, are you in there? Did you just ask if I'm in here? Where else would I be, the Bahamas? I'm a crab, not Houdini. <laughs> right. It's just that when you say if I return empty-handed, you do realize I don't have any hands, right? Pooh. Teach me how to fly. I know. Why don't you teach me now? Uh, now, now. No, no, not now. Why not now? Why? Not now. Because. Cause why? Because we said so. That's why. Oh boy, I turned into my father. But what if that sea lion comes back? What if you're not there to save me? Pingo. There's something Buddy's been meaning to tell you. There is? What is it? Uh, well... <sighs> you see, it's like this. The, the, the truth of the matter is... There's only one way to tell you this. <laughs> Go ahead, Luke. Tell him. Look, kid. You can't fly. I know I can't fly. Not yet. Not until you teach me. Not ever. Not ever? Why not? You're a penguin. But you said penguins are birds. Flightless birds. What kind of a bird doesn't fly? A uh, penguin. Oh, hey, what was that for? Rubbing it in. Listen, Pingo, there are a lot of things penguins can do that we can't. Yeah? Like what? Uh, they're, they're much better swimmers than we are. Oh, much better. They have a lot more feathers than we do. A lot more. And they're waterproof. Very waterproofy. But I don't want to be like all the other penguins. I want to be different. I want to be special. Trust your Uncle Lou. Being raised by two skewer birds lands you right in the special category. Hey, you know what you need to cheer you up? A hang glider? Ugh! What you need is a good meal. How about we go out and catch us some dinner? Yeah! Last one to the fishing hole is a rotten egg! I just want to be alone, if that's okay. Uh, alone? Alone. Right. We all need to be alone sometimes. <laughs> we'll just let you be then. See ya. <laughs> Come on, buddy. They grow up so fast. Thank you.
What you're implying. I, I, I'm too talkative to be a spy. I'm just saying, <laughs> don't tell me any secrets you want to actually keep secret. I, I came up here to catch some fish. See? What? Haven't you ever seen another penguin before? Who, me? A of course I have. Unidentified one of the countless penguin females I've seen before. I just never expected to see one here. Now. So... <laughs> Well, I never thought I'd find a tap dancing penguin here, that's for sure. How'd you learn to dance like that? Oh, uh, <laughs> I kind of just fell into it. Not one penguin in my entire colony can dance like you. There are more of you? Of course. Well, not more of me, exactly. I mean, there aren't any Bella clones walking all over Antarctica, if that's what you mean. Even though sometimes I feel like I'm just like everybody else. One of the great unwashed masses, you know? Right. So, do all the penguins in your colony dance? My colony? No, just me. Do you think you could teach me how to dance someday? Gee, I, I don't know. I've never tried to teach anybody before. That's perfect, then. It is? Yeah, I can be your first student. Why don't we have our first lesson tomorrow? Tomorrow? Great, see you then. Hey, what's your name, anyway? Pingo, like bingo, with a puh. <laughs> I'm Bella, like Bella, with a buh. <laughs> nice to meet you, Pingo. Pingo, that's a catchy name. What's it mean? Bella means beautiful. Well, it sure does. Well, I better get these fish back home. Is that all you caught? Is that all? I catch three times more than anyone else in my family. I can show you how to catch a lot more. The trick is to dive in without making a splash. That way you don't scare away the fish. But splashing is the funnest part. Shh, you scared them away. How did I scare them away? Fish don't have ears. They can't hear me. If you didn't scare them away, then you <laughs> oh, ho, ho! Lucky marbles! It's two for one night! Bingo! On your mercy. <laughs> Ma 
master. <laughs> Up seaweed. <laughs> a dead, dead, dead. His shell is empty, but my heart is full. <laughs> That's you, Master, isn't it? Mommy! Love the new shell. Save it, shark bait. That was hurtful. You're getting jiggy with it over my apparent death, and that was hurtful? Hath not a crustacean eyes? Hath not a crustacean claws, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions? Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winters and summers as a mammal is? If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, shall we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. That was beautiful. Portable Shakespeare. Now, for your sake, I hope you're sitting on a pile of fish. Oh, please, Master! I throw myself on your mercy! I don't have mercy. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't want you thrown on it. Time for a little nip-tuck. No, no, but, but it wasn't my fault! If I had a sand dollar for every time I heard that. This time is different. I had two penguins in my sight. Two? Two! They were mine for the taking. But then the one started... Tap dancing. Tap dancing. Uh, the sound of his shoes clinkety clank clapping on the ice made my sonar go bonkers. The penguin was wearing shoes? Uh huh, tap shoes. Tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap. I get it, tippity tap. The sound! My head felt like it was going to explode! I couldn't take it anymore! <laughs> oh, knock it off! You know I can't stand to see an 800 pound sea lion cry! Pull yourself together! Thank you! <laughs> Tomorrow, you, me, and your sea lion buddies are going to tell this ballerina who's boss. Jacques Cousteau? I swear if crustaceans had blood pressure, mine would be going through the roof. So just as the biggest sea lion I've ever seen in my entire life is about to swallow me whole, Pingo starts tap dancing again, ready to tap tap, and drives the savage beast back into the water. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good news. We never have to be afraid of sea lions again. <laughs> we just need to find us some tap shoes. It's not funny. It really happened. Sure it did, kid. There's not even another penguin colony around here for miles. You can see for yourself. Tomorrow, Pingo's going to teach me how to tap dance. He can teach all of us. Maybe we'll get a group discount. You heard Jonesy? There's not another colony for miles. What if... Maybe that tap-dancing penguin is our son. Listen to yourself, Gertie. Tap-dancing penguin? And, and who do you think raised him? Those ruthless little scavengers that snatched him? <laughs> our boy's a genius. A prodigy. A virtuoso. A wunderkin. <laughs> Bravo! We'll never have to be afraid of those sea lions again. 
Not as long as we have Pingo around. Come to think of it, I've always wanted to learn how to dance. Hey, maybe Pingo can teach us, huh? This bird don't dance. <gasps> teach? I almost forgot. I gotta go. Hey, where you going? I told Bella I'd teach her how to dance today. Kids. Told you there was no Pingo the tap dancing penguin? That was quite a story, Bella. When I was young, they called it a lie. It's not a lie. It's the truth. He'll be here. You'll see. Well, you can all stand here gazing at the horizon, but I'm going fishing. Wait! Look! There! I knew he'd come! Pingo! Look at him, Ozzy. He even looks like you. They all look like me. We all look like each other. We've been through this, Gertie. It's impossible. There's a whole bunch of them waiting for him. Yeah? What's he doing now? <laughs> He's dancing up a snowstorm. They're reading it up. <laughs> oh, Lou, I think we have company. I told you, there's a whole bunch of penguins down there. Not them. Them! Oh, no! Sea lions! We have to warn Bingo! Two birds who took my egg. It, it was, was his, his idea. idea. That's our baby. Pingo. Mom? Son. Dad. <laughs> and to think I almost poached him. <laughs> Darn allergies. <laughs> we'll, we'll still get visitation rights, won't we? I hate to interrupt this family reunion, but we got a situation. What kind of situation? The fatal kind. There's a group of angry sea lions headed this way. <gasps> well, we'll never be able to outrun them. What are we gonna do? Bingo will just dance and scare them off like he did yesterday. He can't do it alone. There are too many of them. I know. Let's feed him the two birds. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. I got another idea. I need you two to fly as fast as you can and bring back something from the steamer trunk. Oh, I don't know if I can do this, Master. What, are you going to let this tap dancing penguin hand you your blubber on a plate? Uh-huh. Sliced, diced, and served up with a ramekin of melted butter. Ugh! Oh! Wrong. Penguins are beneath you on the food chain. They fear you. You don't fear them. You're below me on the food chain, and I fear you. That's not the point. Why not? No! <laughs> oh, what was that for? For asking too many questions. Now keep marching, all of you! There you go, Pingo! We brought every last piece we could find. This is your big idea? Giving the sea lions utensils to eat us with? No, these utensils are for you to dance with! Friends. Who you call little, shrimp? Can it, Oreo? We've come for the seafood buffet special, and no tap dancing penguin is going to stop us. Dinner is served! Now what? Just follow my lead.
premature celebration. This isn't over. I'll take on all of you, one at a time. Who's first? All right, who's next? And that's how it came to be that the most unlikely of animals broke the food chain in a most unusual way. What are you looking at? Show's over! with feeling. Right, please. Let's get things right this time. Okay, everyone. One more time. Action. Daddy? 